Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video. In this video, I PB'd. Yes, that's like simply it. And I have nothing else much to say. Let's just watch this run. Yeah. And if you're wondering why like the, the thumbnails like pay for face in there, because he roasts me. So I'm just going to roast him back by PB'ing. So we enter the world here already. We, I accidentally turn off smooth lining and if you're wondering why i'm going to the shipwreck which is like insanely far that's because i i don't get paid so we're gonna play play on much more seeds than before and also there's like help there which is pretty good because we're swimming this far and then there's just an enter right beside us so we're swimming to the shipwreck and then we're just gonna get off our iron. Turn back our smooth lighting. And get our iron. Clean looting. 13 iron. And then got my seven bread here. And then we are gonna punch wood. Grab our stuff. And we get our five five locks there. And if you if you can see just now, for like a split second, there's actually um there's actually like bubble swirl beside me. So I I looked here and then it looks really real, so I'm just gonna go here instead of the one a bit further, which did which is the kelp just now. So here I'm just gonna find like a formation and then I see stone there which is not very optimal and then this ends up a bit of a time lost I also messed it up the portal here yeah, like that it's about a few seconds maybe three second time loss nothing huge so about two ten enter be solid, nothing too special, and get my spike here. And I'm just gonna go up this cave, and then uh, instantly boom fortress. And I'm like pausing really hard here, and I saw this Enderman. And again, this is like this is the first vicious thing about this run. This playing this Enderman, it could be a time loss, but. I mean, if you get the pro, you, I can just pro to the bastion, which is like in front, if you guys can see it. Um, number two, if the if the bastion, the terrain to the bastion is ab extremely bad, I can just pro to it. Just like something like this, like the lava is just pretty annoying to me. Then, yeah, it, I, I would probably save some time. And number three is that if I kill that enderman, I I could instantly pro into a fortress, but number four, I just don't get the pro. I'm unlucky. Okay. So break the we break the chisel gold block there, and then we're just gonna start our route here at about 320. Pretty pretty decent pace. Got gold go in a hole. If you're if you're if you're wondering why I throw my because it, it's because like my my mouse pad is slipping out of my 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 um my range I, I don't know how to explain this but my mouse pad just moves and I have to fix it that's why I like accidentally throw out my pickaxe I got like way too distracted and here we're just we're just gonna get this chest and then instantly get top obby. And my, my friend, one of my friend, uh, SMK rerun the seed, and then he did not get 20. He isn't even close to getting 20. So I guess this is like the one of the lucky parts of the run. 
So we're just gonna wait for one RB. And we get it. Exactly 20 RB, so no misplacing is allowed. Or else the run is just dead. Basically. And we're leaving the Bastion at around 440. One pro. About 445 Fortress, which is a pretty decent pace for a good run. If you guys saw, I'm I'm above lava, so we should 5 RD. And if if the fortress is above lava, and sure I do. And the straights are just pretty decent, and I'm just praying here that the rates don't die. I got my first rod there. There's no strafes above that uh, that part of the fortress, so I'm just gonna go activate the spawner, kill this blaze. Got my second rod. And I saw more blaze there, so yeah, I might go get them. So I have three rods already at 5xx, 5.30. Four, and then this rod I could have saved, but I I think I could have saved. Like it, it stayed on the ledge there for like about one second. But I was, I was thinking that it, it would stay on the ledge instead of falling down. But it didn't, it fell, so it's just a... Uh, Minor, not minor, it's like sort of major time loss, so here I decided to build my my portal already because I really have nothing to do. Maybe I have things to do, but I'm just going to overlap a bit here. And I can get my Nimbot ready. I also message SMK during this time, which is like pretty funny. Let's skip a bit forward. It's about here. Okay. Grab my eyes, get my boat. F3C. Ready. And then do my boat measurement. Count the pixels. And here's here I'm just praying that it's not the second offset because if it is, I'm just instantly getting pissed. Here. So I'm just gonna drink my fire res here. And 630 back. Sure I should actually just went for the two blades there, but I didn't, so. And just sort of get getting a bit unlucky with the rates here. Got two for all for those blazes. I mean, sorry, O for two for those blazes, and then here I'm just gonna organize my inventory a bit. And I have tons of string. It's like about two stacks, and I can I can zero, but I don't really want to because I don't have wood. And then that rod burn, which is like really unlucky. I'm like pissed right here. And so that guy dropped. So the actually calculated that if that rod actually burned, I would be able to punch the fire out in time and then just get it. Because normally when 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 I punch when when things burn they they have like a a few seconds before they actually um they actually gone burn completely. But in that case, I don't know, it just instantly went gone. So I'm just gonna build, build over to my to my portal using Soul Sand. Staying on the ledge here, we can speed bridge. And here we're almost at cords. And out here, we're just gonna build my portal. And then almost use a gravel there, which could be disastrous time loss. Here, making sure I'm not gonna misplace my hobby and then I spawn in the stronghold and and I I did not I actually did not spawn in the starter so I just send it which is pretty funny and instantly saw the portal room there and that is, we're gonna go zero eye luckily we didn't we didn't leave at five or is this run 
would not be a thing. And we entered our end at 8.54. Just by far my fastest pace of, by like one minute, I think. My previous end PB is about under 9.30ish. Just about 30 second fine cut. We're just gonna set up our hobby and we're gonna craft our beds. Sure. And we're just gonna wait for the dragon to perch. And then here I'm I'm, I'm like thinking, wait, this could sub 10 is the, if the dragon goes right now, but it, it didn't go, so that's like quite sad, but it, it perched pretty fast. I mean, if it's sub 10, I, I would be like, I would be like insanely, I would, I would be going insane today. Because I, I finished this run, um, like 12 a 12 a.m. exactly. And first bit too early, second bit decent, third bit decent. I can I could have gone for four plus one, but it's a bit too risky for me. So I decided to just kill the dragon, like five bits. And yep, yeah. ten o five, ten o eight retime. time. Really happy about this run, and yeah, I think I think it's the 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 unlucky part of this is just the. The fortress that two rods just went gone, and then it's eight for uh fourteen, and then if two rods burn, then it's six for fourteen, which is like above average or below average rates. And yeah, that's like basically the run. And hope you guys enjoy, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next PB. Yeah, peace out.